and it's got Anya Shalatra in it from uh, the the uh, the Witcher. Everybody said, "Oh, they made her look ugly." I'm like, I I mean, they kind of altered her a little bit. I don't think they really did that much, but. I don't know. Either way, uh, Unknown Nine Awakening remains unknown as latest Sweet Baby Ink title debuts to just 285 peak players on stream. Sweet Baby Ink be dead, man. Uh, in late September, we predicted that the Reflector Entertainment developed Bandai Namco published and Sweet Baby Ink influenced Unknown Nine Awakening would be a critical and commercial disaster. Not great, Bob. And now the game is live. Not only has said prediction turned out to be 100% on point, but the results have proven even worse than expected. Huna is your name? Okay. Cool. Uh, per the stream analytics outlet Steam DB, or Steam Analytics, excuse me, uh, since its release on October 17th, the player count for the female led game has thus far peaked at just 285 concurrent players, which is uh, achieved on the evening of its second day on shelves. That's, um, gotta admit, that's that's pretty crazy. Uh, these numbers also account for the fact that anyone who bought an AMD X87, or sorry, X870, or x870e motherboard was given the free game the game for free all right uh i don't know how many people bought those i'm, I'm i don't know much about pc gaming i'm gonna be honest with you uh for those unaware of just what unknown nine awakening is per the game's description the action adventure title places players in the shoes of uh haruna a cast Castor, born with the ability to venture into a mysterious dimension that overlaps our own, uh, known only as the Fold. Right. Quote, on her quest, the, powerfully, uh, the powerful hidden knowledge Haruna will learn to master her unique connection to the Fold, which allows her to channel its, uh, its powers into our world. It continues but such power does not go unnoticed and Haruna quickly becomes the target of a splinter faction called calling themselves the ascendants who want to use the fold to alter the course of human history. That's the coolest story I've ever heard in my entire life. That's insane. Is it, can I hear it again? Admittedly, the game has an admittedly interesting premise uh, features an extensive level of world building and heavy, uh, heavily utilizes its the fact, God, that mind control powers exist within its setting. I'm doing my best to read this, guys. Their, their writing is not great. And a few good stealth scenes and moves. However, these qualities aren't enough to save Unknown Nine Awakening from feeling like a dated, uninspired adventure. As on the other hand, the game's combat is clunky, outdated, and repetitive. Its enemy AI is poorly designed, and its graphics feel more at home on the PlayStation 3 than modern hardware. Ouch. Oh, he needs oh. some milk. On the subject of graphics, while the appearance of the game's protagonist was based on the Witcher star Anya Shalatra, uh, Haruna herself looks androgynous and lacks the elegance of her real-life counterpart. Do they just mean, like, clothes? Because, like, face-wise, I think she looks like her. I don't know. Combine all of the this numerous player reports, uh, frequent frame rate dips and immersion breaking bugs, and simply put, there just isn't enough good to outweigh the bad here. To add insult to injury, Bandai Namco slapped the game with a $50 price, in doing so driving away a large swath of potential players who felt that the price was, to say the least, unjustified. Yeah. I, I don't know. These pictures are showing doesn't don't really prove their point about all that. But uh, however, these aren't the only problems the game experienced. As noted above, Unknown Nine Awakening featured heavy, heavy involvement from the diversity, equity and inclusion centric video game narrative consultant company, Sweet Baby Inc. with CEO Kim Bedard, Bedard, Kim Bedard uh, and COO David Bedard. 
uh, having uh, respective, uh, respectively been credited as the game's story architect, in doing so creating the core of its story and the brand content manager at Reflector Entertainment. Ew, 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 ew. Uh, in light of both their company's identity politics focused work and involvement in such previously commercially troubled titles such as Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League and Ellen Week 2, many players saw the red flags and decided to spend their money elsewhere. Well, I'm going to play both sides here because, yeah, on one side, yeah, Sweet Baby Inc. has proven to be absolute uh, poison. And this is another example of that. You sl if people are finding out, oh, they, they even worked on it, they, they were in the vicinity of people working on it, then people are like, no, nah, I'm good. I don't want to give them my money. And they just keep driving off more people with public comments and like really hateful stuff that they say in public now, too, that's just like, ouch. Um, they're not doing themselves any favors and they don't seem to care. They just yell and scream and kick and give us money, damn it. And like, people just don't want to. How about new? But on the other side of that, th there are valid criticisms besides that where uh, the frame rate drop is whatever. I don't like that's never really bothered me too much. I know some people like I talked about my former co-host Greg that passed away. That was a big thing with him. Uh, he noticed that crap. He would notice if um, like there were a lot of games where they were like, oh, we'll do a, a, a day or a, a week one patch for this game. Uh, we're only releasing it in, uh, you know, however, whatever P, you know, the I, I'm, I, I don't pay too much attention to the graphics, but uh, basically a lower frame rate. And then they would like upgrade it along the way. And he's like, it's complete bull crap. And I, I, I've I've made my um, feelings on day one or week one patches known where I think it's complete BS. They really do need to hire beta testers. Uh, this is their way of making you their free beta testers. Actually, you pay them to be the beta testers now. Um, and, and repetitive gameplay is annoying. I know a lot of the early um, Assassin's Creed... Well, actually, I think all Assassin's Creed games suffer from that. That's why, personally, why I fell out of Assassin's Creed um, after, I think, the third one was uh, was pretty good. Uh, I own that one. I never did finish it. And uh, Black Flag, it's a little repetitive. But other than that, yeah, repetitive gameplay, nobody, you know, that, that'll turn people off. And all the bugs, immersion-breaking bugs, yeah. Uh, the bugs especially are going to turn people off pretty pretty freaking quick um and 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 they're not going to come back they're going to turn your game off uh they might ask for a refund and then they'll never be back so that's that's what happened a lot with uh cyberpunk 2077 eventually stepped it up and um i've got a video coming out so or a short coming out soon about how like they owned up to it they're like yeah we effed up and uh you know people are probably not going to come back but you know all we can do is try make things better try to suck up to the fans and, you know, really uh, own up to our mistake. That's how you should do it. But I don't know. The, this this is not a known property, whereas Cyberpunk kind of was, and CD Projekt Red had the benefit of the doubt. This game did not, and a lot of people were were kind of predicting and rooting for it to fail uh, from the beginning. So I don't know. Um, I... I really didn't see too much other than people dunking on it. I didn't see too much about Unknown Nine Awakening. Um, the, only, the only thing I, I've ever seen about this game was just negative stories and uh, negative posts on, on social media. Uh, not good. Believe me, not good. Am I the only one that just didn't see anything positive about this game? I'm curious to see. I did not see what the IGN score was. Let me guess. They gave it a... Uh, before I, before I check, did they give it a seven out of 10? Please let me see. Oh, no, 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 no. They gave it a five. Wow. Okay. Mediocre. Despite a few interesting ideas, unknown nine awakening is a bland and janky adventure with a generic story and dull combat. Wow. Do you know how bad you have to suck to get, less than a seven from IGN. It's <laughs> that's honestly crazy.
that that's that's become the meme. Oh, seven out of ten. IGN. No, it's just dumb. <laughs>